Hey everyone and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Warped. We are starting off with Sphinxinator, which is the first level in the fourth warp room. And I had a little bit of trouble with this one, mostly because there's a lot of dangers that you have to look out for, and you're basically running through the whole thing. Be very mindful of these doors because they can squish you. Even if you have an Aku Aku, sometimes the animation of Crash getting squished can really throw off your time. So I was being a little bit cautious and waiting so that I didn't have to worry about that because that did happen to me a few times. So we're gonna get all four of these time crates. Really worth it to get them. Even if you think it's gonna take a little bit of time, usually it's worth it. In that situation, I didn't really wanna deal with it because I didn't have an Aku Aku. Speaking of, it's also usually worth it to get the Aku Aku when you can because little mistakes or little risks that you take can lead you to taking a hit. And if you don't have an Aku Aku, your entire run is ruined. You have to do these time trials in one shot. So there's no continues, you will get sent back to the beginning and that can be very frustrating, especially if you're close to the end or if you're making really good time. So it's definitely worth it to take the time to get the Aku Akus. So we're just gonna avoid these monkeys, spin to get the time crates and avoid the TNTs. Just using a lot of slide jumping, which I basically did through the whole level. It's not too bad, it's just, you kind of have to get a rhythm with this level and know what's coming. So that takes a couple tries, I think at least it did for me. So try not to get too frustrated with it. So now we're on to Bye Bye Blimps. Make sure you shoot the time clock because there were a couple times when I started the level and was like, oh, I never did that. So it never started the time trial. So basically what I'm doing here is going to the right to quickly get this one so that I don't end up getting it last. Then come over here, get this blimp, then the one to the left, and now I can kind of go in a clockwise pattern to get the rest of them. Because I found what was happening was I was missing the one to the right, that would be the one that I'd have to do last, and it would be really far away from me at the end of the run, and that would basically screw up my time. So if you're having trouble, try to find an order that keeps the blimps fairly close to each other so that you're not taking a huge amount of time to actually get to them, and that should really help your time a lot. All right, here we are at Tell No Tales, which is another Coco level. It is a jet ski level, which if you guys have been watching the Let's Play know that these are awful for me. I am not good at them at all. So the time trials have always been frustrating. Even when I was a little kid, I remember being so upset trying to get these and just struggling through it every time. But I did manage to get a gold relic, so it is possible, even if you do suck at these levels, I'm living proof. Basically, what you wanna do is get the crates. And obvious, I mean, that's that advice is obvious, but really, try to make sure that you're lining your jumps on these ramps. Because if you go even slightly off and you miss that crate, it can mean the difference between no relic and a sapphire relic, or a sapphire relic and a gold relic. Know what I mean? So try to get all of the ones that you can. And I basically took the time to line up my jumps for every ramp. It took me a couple tries to kind of figure out the path that I was going so that I could know when I needed to do that. Um, so if you didn't get it right away, just keep trying. It's probably just practice that you need. Also definitely get the Aku Aku right there. Any Aku Aku that you see, uh, because sometimes you might accidentally hit one of these bombs here or any of the other obstacles. It's very easy to hit them. So having the Aku Aku is really nice because that way you get an extra hit and you don't have to restart your entire time trial, which can be a big pain. It has happened to me on several levels. 
But we're just gonna keep going through here, grab all these crates. And right there, gold relic. Barely got it, but we did. So now we're on to Future Frenzy, which is the fourth level. And it's not bad at all. You have two minutes to get the Sapphire Relic. So if you're just going for that, not a big deal at all. And it's funny because I've already completed the last warp room as I'm recording this voiceover. And I made so many mistakes in this run. So I could have done a lot better than I did. And I still managed to get a gold relic. So really this level isn't that bad it's kind of funny because as a kid i remember really not liking these levels i felt like they were really hard but i'm not like as an adult they're really not that bad so i don't know what my problem was i don't know if i just didn't play them a lot so i didn't have the experience and they were just difficult i i, I don't know but they're really not that bad now, a big mistake that I made is I lost my Aku Akus, right? Both of them, like, immediately after getting them. Which, not great, because there's a third Aku Aku right there. And that would have really helped me out and probably saved me a good bit of time here if I had gotten all three Aku Akus. So, if you're going for Platinum, definitely make sure that you get that. Um, but I got gold and I didn't, so really the gold relic in this one isn't too bad. I don't think it, it might have only taken me, I don't know, maybe two tries or something to get it. It, it was not, it was not difficult at all. So you shouldn't have too much trouble. Try to make sure that you're getting the crates, especially the threes and the twos. They really do help out a lot. But I missed a ton of time crates and I still managed to get gold. So. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, here we are with Tomb Waiter, which is the last level. This level and I had some had some words. Um, I usually waited until the bug was over to the right-hand side. That seemed to be the best timing for me. The thing with this level is the water, and that's constantly going to be a battle uh, throughout the level because if it's if the water has risen, you cannot really go past it, uh, and it really can screw up your time. Make sure to get the Aku Aku right there. Very important. I missed that on my first couple runs. This level I actually had to come back to later because I could only get the Sapphire and I got kind of frustrated. So I took a break and came back to it and then managed to get the gold. Be sure to get the two second time clock there. Very easy to miss if you don't know that it's there. So. Basically, uh, if you see the water rising, don't don't jump into the water, even if you feel like you might be able to run through it. Uh, I did that a couple times and immediately drowned. Not really a good idea. Uh, when you are waiting though, you can take out the bazooka and shoot some of the enemies, which I did just to make it easier since, uh, you know, I can't do anything right now anyway. So that can help you a little bit, but right here, we get the next Aku Aku, and you can just run through all of this now. Uh, the water, I don't think, will rise while you have an Aku Aku. The doors will not slam on you. Uh, so it this really helps your run. So make sure that you're getting the Aku Akus because it's just going to make everything significantly easier. And there you go. That's gold. So that is the fourth warp room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I will see you in the next one.